Simlings, welcome back. It's Simple Sim here, and today I am playing Drake Hollow. It's a, I play a lot of different types of games, and I kind of want to reflect that a little bit better on my channel. So, I have already recorded this once already, and I'm kind of annoyed <laughs> because I'm testing out a new mic, and I thought I had everything set up properly and that it was working just fine and I could be heard. But I had the game audio up way too far, and you could tell that I was talking, but you couldn't tell what I was saying because it was that muffly compared to the music in the background of the game. So I think I have everything set up properly this time, and I'm going to restart. Um, so you've already missed my actual first reactions to this game, which sucks, but hopefully I can still make it interesting. sent to find someone and I think you're it. This door I'm sitting on, I'm gonna need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods, really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help. I can't force you to step through. You gotta do that on your own, but I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on this side. Not gonna be able to stick around for much longer. I gotta warn you. This could be a one-way trip. No telling when you might get back. It's gonna be dangerous. So you up for an adventure? Step on in. I forgot to mention when you start the game you can actually design your character but I've already done a lot of that so we've skipped over a lot of that and I already know you can collect these mushrooms and that resources are finite in this game so I'm going to collect as many as I see this time instead of just being kind of conservative about it I didn't explore this as fully the last time because I wanted to get moving. And I'm just going to collect a bunch of these and skip through this and meet you on the other side. 
Ah, you made it! Much better. Head was fogging up something awful, no offense. But I hate crossing over. If I'm being honest, I wasn't sure you'd cross. I'd been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's on short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the Hollow. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. That's kind of why you're here. Follow me. I'll clarify. Sure, if you say so, Mr. Crow. you here at the request of an old friend someone from your side of the hedge from way back probably best if you heard it from her directly she left me this note a note from Sarah Howe find someone new dear wise crow I know how to help you and the drakes I need you to find a warrior strong of will and body sensitive to animals look for them when the hedge is thin bring them to finish what I'm too frail to accomplish they must work with the drakes to build their power and seek out my effects, hidden from the Terminer. Find them. It's the only way to save the Hollow. Yours, Sarah Hap. So here we are. You've got that youthful vigor we need, the hedge was thin, and as evidenced by this here conversation, you've got the gift of animal whispering. Come on, I've got something I'd like you to try, and some folks I think you should meet. this game is looks like some sort of apocalypse has happened and we just got sucked straight into it We've had a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I've got a little theory about you. Wanna test it out? See, if I really did choose the right person for the job, I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see for yourself. That pile of crystals over there? Get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. Let's see, this place is all clustered in that stuff. If you get way too close to it, it can damage you. Or maybe not. Yep, see? Yeah. Cute little mailboxes. This is sort of like your first base camp area. safe to come out. Look at the little drake. Such a cute little man drake. <laughs> and he wants you to pick up the melee weapon. I may, since I did some stuff early have to drop one so that I can pick one up. He 
these giant shadow dog things are not good news. met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished that pack of pesky feral. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are a companionable lot, kind souls. Unfortunately, they've had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders, those Terminers the note mentioned, made a real mess of things. So they're a little skittish around newcomers with penchant for brawling. You gotta need to do some lake work to earn their trust. The drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty hibernating so long. Unfortunately, land's no good. Everything that comes from the ground is blighted, inedible. You're gonna need something to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like the crafty sort, though. Remember that attunement business with the crystals? That's, that right there's your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know what you need built, and they'll hop to it. Gather up some lumber and build a cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once it's built, and I'll tell you how to use it. Here, take a couple glowstone shards to get you started. You'll need them to build the cauldron. Also, take this healing salve. It's the only one I got, but you're going to be scrapping with those grunts. You're going to need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough. If you use that one up. Alright, and we already did some resource gathering. So we're going to need to get some resources for that, but I think first we have to go talk to Old Crow again. Nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Now for the most important part, using the cauldron. You're going to need to investigate the island for a bit for a couple of things. Juice boxes and bane berries. Get at least four each. Walk up to the cauldron and toss them in. Soon, the berries and juice will be cleansed and the drakes can chow down. Knowing they've got a meal waiting should show them you're not looking to do them harm. Alright, so we've got to gather some of the resources because I don't have any juice boxes. But bane berries are these things that I picked up earlier. And we are going to need plenty. But anyway, <laughs> yay, this outhouse is where you trade stuff and yeah, sell things. Let's see. find plenty of better weapons, so I'm not worried about those. We're going to need 
need some of these eventually too. And I've already noticed from my first playthrough there was a toilet item. You might have seen it if I haven't cut that part out of the video. Um, in a completely different location on the map, which leads me to think maybe those things could possibly regenerate, just not very often. So, the whole objective is to be able to get across this river of fog called the Ether and go further and further out and get stronger and stronger. On the first playthrough when I began, there was like a little toilet over here, right in this initial base area. But if you see off here in the distance, it's way back there this time. So, seems to be spaced randomly. So I might not find all the exact same things that I did before, which is interesting to me. We are going to go this way this time. You can whack the vehicles, pick up arrows, juice boxes, other resources. Juice boxes are a little, they're kind of easy to find, but also harder because they're not as plentiful everywhere. So. And I try to explore the perimeter of each little island area that I am at before I go on up. Because usually the most interesting objects are up into the center of everything. Starting to get night, so I'm gonna rush up here. Grab some things. Do we have enough juice boxes? No, we don't. Now we do. So we know that this house is here. It's pretty easy to find, so we will explore that later. Because you have to build little beds for these buggers. So we definitely need to get back to camp. Where's Crowley? Bane berries are all around. Just pick them up. You can find juice boxes around. Human stuff. Houses. Cars. Get exploring. Did you tell me what to do? Stock the cauldron. Oh yeah, that's an important step. Sorry to disturb your sleep, you cute little thing. Woodcutter, 30% crit environment. That's different than what I had before. But we'll obtain your buff. So apparently they can sleep here. At least in the beginning. 
Oh, you have lucky. I want extra item drops. Thank you for the charms. Old Blue gave me charms. I don't know what to name this one. Smeep and Veer. They might already have names. Oh, you gave me more charms. Hello. Thank you. the wise crow. We'll just call him Crowley. The drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same, but their minds aren't. Not since the Terminer came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the drakes. Even send you home once they get their magic back. But before we go off saving the world, we better finish tending to the drakes' basic needs. The drinks don't just need food and water. They're gonna need a place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. You're proven to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with sleeping spots and entertainment. Why don't you try building the drakes a couple thatched beds and poppets? You can get everything you need for thatched beds from trees. As for poppets, Look along shorelines for cattails and beat up some cars for upholstery. Alright. So I think we have this one almost finished before. Well, we actually have everything finished there before we even got started. So what I do know is these beds only last one night, so where we place them at the this moment doesn't even really matter. And we need to beat up some more cars for upholstery, apparently. But one pop it ought to do it for now, I think. Because those don't last long either. Future Simple Sim here, just coming at you guys to let you know that I'm going to go ahead and end this episode earlier than I originally planned here. I recorded for entirely too long, so we're just going to do a multiple part um, review, sort of, of this game. So stay tuned for the next part if you want to see more. And if you liked this video, please consider giving it a like and thumbs up and subscribe and all that jazz if you feel so inclined. And thanks for watching. Bye.